but the way you talk to me is like you're blaming me. I'm not I'm blaming, I'm no I right. to blame me. I'm not I have no right to blame that. I wanna talk about safety plan. Wait, wait, I don't need safety plan, I just need to do that moment when she started screaming and shouting at me. You want to make me embarrassed, right? No, to... no, no, no. Okay. I was wait, wait, wait. fearful in my heart because I don't know how to manage. Wait, wait, wait. Please, la, okay. Go back to the consent no, no. I don't want her to escalate further because the children are there watching us. I have to remain calm. Yeah, because when on the day... Drop it, la. I don't want to talk, okay? I'm yeah, a child I... protection officer. I'm also a mother of four. Caregiver stress is very real because we face our children 24-7. Hi, good morning, Child Protection. Just a few cl clarifications. Um, is the child with any injuries now? Our core work is to ensure that children are not harmed. We want to ensure that every child deserves to grow up in a safe and a loving environment. We have this case where the hospital referred the case to us. There's some concern about the father who presented himself as someone who is abusing drugs. I said, okay, you cannot lie to me, okay? Tell me the truth, okay? Okay, anybody can beat you at home? Okay, come. The court felt that the parents have not committed any direct harm on the children. On the day when the order were passed, we have to return the children to the parents. For the father, the main question was, is he really abusing drugs at the present moment? You are masuk prison untuk drug tak? Masuk. Berapa kali? Boleh nggak? Empat kali ya. Itu sih saya sekarang dah tak. Tak ada lagi. Ini saya makan ubat. Orang tuju saya minta saya tak suka. Hmm. We did receive reports ah, okay, that there was family violence ah. That means you and Miss Kok oh. fight, fight. Yeah, among parents, right? Mm. Um, but when you quarrel, you got he got puko you or not? You got puko him or not? Huh? Only quarrel. Uh, Mum was definitely very, very calm. Uh, oh. She definitely knew what to say, and she also definitely knew what not to say. Yeah. So you are saying that Mister has never hit you before, lah? No. Okay. Macam, just okay lah tu sen, macam tolak dia. Tolak ada. Ayolah. Tolak ada jatuh? Tak. tak ada. Kenapa eh? Kenapa tolak? You hot lah. Kadang-kadang, dia pay orang nak cakap, saya tu pay orang tak suka cakap orang pay jahat. Hmm. So I also know that there was an incident where I think your son ah, got asked father to buy some balloon, but then father got angry with him, then father slapped him in public. Who said that? We're not here to determine whether your discipline matter is, in a sense, like correct or not. But in terms of what's the impact on the child, even if you admit or you do not admit to it, it's child protection's concern. We spoke to the children for the second time because after we interviewed the parents, the parents seemed to be presenting a very nice picture at home. No? Mm -hmm. Mommy got hit you? No. Okay. Daddy got hit you? No. Okay. How about Daddy got hit Mommy? No. no. In the first instance, they did tell us that so Daddy hit Mommy, but when doing the second interview, everything just seemed so happy at home. We still stand firm on our first disclosure that we got from the child and also we stand firm on the reports that we received from the community agencies also involved in the case. Concerned that child protection.
children. Parents also pay or use any physical punishment on children. Uh. Okay, and on top of that, it's important that they increase the visibility of the children in the community. So that's why they have to go to school every day, la, Monday to Friday. And that also to allow us and any other agencies to make announce or unannounced phone visit. La. The job of a child protection officer is, is highly stressful. I have concern that, you see, in these 12 days, the children were absent, absent from school for two, four days. Very few parents would agree with what the child protection officers are doing. Great. Right? asking such a stupid question? Yeah, this is... You are, are you a mother? I am a mother. When parents disagree with some of the decisions that you make, they tend to get personal. Like, some will ask, are you even married? <laughs> Some, some will ask, have you even had sex before? Like, it's always that image, I don't know. Like, someone just pointing fingers at you and telling you you don't know how to do your job. No, 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 no. Oh no, why am I emotional? Okay. Make sure this plan can be complied. If things go well, like comply with it, I'm recommending that children under the care of the, the parents. Yeah. Can I? Okay, thank so you. I, next week I will see you. Huh? Biggest misconception uh, people have is that CPS always removes children, and we don't, and we, we only do it as the last resort. How are you? I'm fine. Salah! You okay? Ta? <laughs> you okay? Ta? At the end of the day, we have the same goals as parents. We want the children back to be home lah. Nak pergi kan? Di tempat dia apa? Prison. Tempat dia Changi Prison. Okay. Dari satu family become four family. I got big big family. Life sekarang kan, walaupun yes. dah tak tinggal sama, kena ingat tau. Still one family. Dan yes. dan adiknya adik adik dengan abang selalu fikir sah. So, um, I think what really keeps me going um, in this place is, is really thinking that, you know, you, my job is important. If there's no child protection officers, God knows the number of children out there that's just going to be left, you know, in, in dangerous situations without anyone protecting them.